most annoying people astrology girls now y'all know i had a lot to say about this before you know what i'm saying a lot to say about this you know what i'm saying tommy 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 about us about to spit real quick i'm not gonna hold you i've had a lot to say about this before bro people who are so heavily deep into astrology actually like i'm not gonna hold you i stay far you could tell a lot by a person who's into astrology bro if somebody be like what if somebody asked me what sign is am i bro guarantee i'm already walking away i guarantee i'm already walking away bro you know what i'm saying Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a Libra, so that means that, uh, like, no, I, I'm not trying to hear that shit. I'm not going to catch you. So, let's see what Tommy has to say. One of the most annoying people, astrology girls. Let's see what he's talking about. You know, there's one odd thing in this world that brings all of us men together as a species. You could take the most racist hillbilly Chuck f from Alabama, the most gangster shooter from the trenches of Chirac, the most devoted religious scholar in the world, the most politically correct Twitter warrior, and what would all these men have in common? Oh yeah, hating astrology! Some say the pandemic is one of the worst things to happen they in human health back. history, but in reality it's always been astrology. The amount of influence astrology has had in our generation, <clears throat> mainly our generation's woman, has honestly been pretty crazy. Like that universal feeling guys get when being asked what their zodiac sign is will forever link us together as primates it might not be full and upfront to the eye but ladies let me tell you something right here and now every guy has a switch activated in their brain that makes them a little more angry for the rest of the day after you mention zodiac Facts. signs you might see a little casual sigh from him him glimpsing at the ground Bro, i don't know no dude who gets asked what is your zodiac sign and then you can say you can say you like usually a side come out and be like <sighs> like a side definitely has to come out after that bro like you gonna see visible disappointment in a motherfucker's face, bro. If you ask about their zodiac sign, you're gonna see visible disappointment, bro. Cause we, they already at that point, bro. That tells us all we need to know. I'm not gonna capture. Hey, after you mention zodiac signs, you might see a little casual sigh from him. Him glimpsing at the ground more often. Over his mark. facial expression is slowly turning into a straight face. And whether you know it or not, he's definitely going to feel a different way after you mention it. I right. honestly really wasn't going to make a video on this because there's so many already talking about it. But it seems like the people getting into astrology just get worse and worse every year. And before I even start the main part of this video, cause 2022 let me give a little disclaimer yes i know not every girl is into astrology in fact there's some girls i personally know that tell me they don't even care about or just simply tell me they don't base their entire personality on it and yes they're yeah, also it's not like let's keep it it's not everybody it's not everybody some 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 dudes be uh well not it's not a lot of dudes but some dudes be heavy into the astrology shit too you know uh fabio foreign Fucking motherfucker takeoff passed away. RP takeoff. RP takeoff. Motherfucker Fabio Foreign gonna say RP takeoff. Pray for Quavo. He at Aries. I know he taking this hard. Nigga, you're 40, nigga. You're 40. You're 40, bro. You're 40, bro. And talking about, oh, I know he he's at Aries. Pray for him. He's taking this hard. Like, what does his sign have to do with how he's reflect like how he's receiving the news, my nigga? Like, tell me they don't even care about or just simply tell me they don't base their entire personality on it and yes there are also men that are into astrology but the ratio for women to men being into astrology is about nine women to one man so i just want to name this video astrology girls i mean when you have an entire definition for these type of girls can you really Apple blame me how could i not talk about it but first let's define what astrology itself is astrology is the deviation of the supposed influences of the stars and planets on human affairs and terrestrial events by the position and aspects and if you want the more shorter and realistic definition definition bullshit Fact. you're welcome astrology itself by the way should not be confused with astronomy astronomy is actually a science that uses things such as math physics and chemistry to explain the origin of our evolution while astrology is just a bunch of random ass predictions based on stars and shit it's kind of like those superstitions you had as a kid you know step on a crack break your mama's back knocking mm. on wood to prevent jinxing yourself hey Except man i still believe in that bro step on a crack break your mama's back bro i'm not gonna hold you i never step on a crack bro i don't know if that's just me call me childish bro but if i'm walking still Still not hitting that crack, you know what I'm saying? Still not hitting that crack, bro. It's, it's like, I'm not going to cap to you. Even, and y'all ever just be walking on the concrete, you take that wide step just so you make sure you don't hit the crack? I do that all the time. I'm not going to hold you. Hey, man. But I ain't believing in fucking astrology, though. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't believing too deeply in that shit. Motherfuckers, but this is my thing. If you believe, and there's nothing inherently wrong with believing in science and all that. You know what I'm saying? There are, there are technically birth signs and all that, but when you try to make that your whole personality and try to, like, gauge people off of a sign, and, like, that's when it really get fucking annoying, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, is there personality traits from your sign that could be linked to you? I guess, but that could literally be anything, my nigga. Child, I guarantee you can go to any sign. Say you're a fucking Libra. You can go to any other sign, bro. You probably find a trait and be like, oh, that that's me. That I, I could relate to that or, or find at least one trait. Like, but niggas just see they trait... 
and just make that their entire trade, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the, that's just them now. That's just them. That's just crazy. These girls pretty much base their entire personality on that, which is one of the most annoying trait about astrology girls. Like some girls' sole personality trait will just be talking about astrology and everything to do with it. And fellas, this is a red flag. If you ever see a girl like this, do not pursue. I mean, someone basing their personality on one thing is already annoying to most people, right? I know I get annoyed when someone is like that. We can even flip the switch on the subject. For example, let's talk about what's known as male astronomy for men. Red pill videos. I can't listen to one of those red pill dudes for five minutes without getting bored of them talking about the Matrix for the hundredth time. And the way you girls cower and disgust about hearing red pill videos and seeing Andrew Tate is the exact same way girls cower and disgust about hearing red pill videos and seeing Andrew Tate is the exact oh, same way I lagged out, lagged out, lag, 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 lagged out, I lagged out, I lagged out. I feel when you talk about astrology, but I damn near rather talk to anyone who does than a b who bases her sense of self on star signs. One of the main problems I always see from astrology girls is blaming. Some girls will take the entire astrology chart itself, use it like it's some type of God-given spiritual essence Correct. that leads to everything being correct, and start using it as a way to blame things that happen in their life. Oh, I cheated on you the day we were going to get married? Well, it was bound to happen. It's just my crazy Gemini energy. Oh, I stabbed you 35 times in the f***ing neck until you bled out. Sorry, you know how us Capricorns get when we're mad. Oh, I accidentally killed a family of five in a head-on collision while drunk driving at 3 a.m. It's giving my Pisces energy on a fun night. No, no, you're just a murderer. No one's life should ever be ran like this. You can't just go in and start blaming things you do on the way the stars were positioned the day you were born. It, it, it seriously makes no sense to me. Your dad didn't inseminate into your mom and his sperm was magically altered due to the star's position that night. He was probably just horny and trying to f So maybe. Hey man, and, and, and that's facts, bro. Chat, and to be honest, bro, especially high school, nigga, I've met a oh, bro. You'd be surprised, chat. Hold on real quick, bro. So, bro, I used to talk to this girl, bro, and she used to be all into like astrology, bro. I'm a, like, I'm not gonna say her sign, but just in case, you know what I'm saying, this video will get out. But, um, she used to be all into astrology, and that should have been a red flag all for it. But niggas always, I'm like, one thing about dudes, chat is that niggas will always ignore red flags if the bit look good enough. I ain't gonna lie, niggas always, niggas will always do that. You know what I'm saying? Now I don't, I don't now lesson learned. You know what I'm saying? But when a person really just really makes this shit the whole personality, nigga, the whole personality is actually fucking toxic, my nigga. Fucking, um, talking to her, right? Okay, okay, basically, she was on some Aquarius type shit. So, I'm talking to her, right? Um, and she talking about, uh, the, the ex motherfucker, also a red flag, bro. I don't want to hear about your fucking ex nigga in the talking stage. I'm not going to hold you. Like, like, don't be, like, the whole conversation about your, I, I actually don't give a fuck. I'm not going to capture you. Um, but motherfucker talking about some, oh, yeah, like, I feel like me and my ex didn't click because he's a Gemini and I'm an Aquarius and the stars don't align in, in, in AP format. Whatever the fuck she said, motherfucker sounded like she was taking a fucking AP US history test, my nigga. I, like, what, what the fuck? Why do I care about that, bro? That's fucking, like, that's, that needs to be fucking researched. That has to be, like, like mentally researched because that's not normal, nigga. That's not, that's not normal, nigga. I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. I don't know. To be honest, bro, I don't know what star sign she said, nigga. I couldn't even remember. A, 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 I don't know. I don't know if she said AP. I don't know if she said A minor. I don't know if she said Aristotle. I don't know what she said, but it was some bullshit, my nigga. I'm not going to catch you. It, it was it, whatever. It was, it was some bullshit. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you. Um, let's continue, though. Let's continue. Um, she was in an Aquarius. Yeah. Yeah, she was. She was. Just maybe you're a shitty person for actually doing those things. How are you going to do something then not blame it on yourself, which is the person who actually committed the act? It's exactly the same thing as when religious people use a book to defend the shitty actions they do in life, acting like they weren't written when the wheel wasn't even invented. Except at least religion actually has validity to back things up. Astrology has nothing to it other than using it as a tool for toxic people. And it became more evident to me when looking at one of those more detailed astrology charts. And yes, apparently that's a thing. I mean, just look at this one right here. I found holy shit god damn bro i'm not reading all that shit i'm not gonna lie online what is even going on in this if i didn't look twice i would think this was just straight up ripped out of some religious book <laughs> does that say four elements is it oh <laughs> this avatar the last airbender like oh, was just that. straight up ripped
uh, out of some religious book. <laughs> fire, earth, air, water, and then the signs. That's crazy, chat. Motherfuckers, but that's that's what it really be. Motherfuckers think that they about to be Qatar. That's tough. Motherfuckers think they about to be Qatar, but they really ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's tough. Does that say four elements? Is this Avatar the Last Airbender? Like, what's going on, bro? And it even gets to the point where they start linking organs to signs. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like, how does being a Leo have anything to do with your heart and back? How does being a Gemini have anything to do with your arms and lungs? The only somewhat valid one, which is kind of crazy to me, is cancer. And that's because they linked it with breasts. But I kind of see now why it would be so easy to blame something using one of these astrology charts. When you've got charts like this showing a million interpretations of something, it could just be so easy. I could just pick out some of these like they're fast food. All right, I I could pick this reason to blame. Ooh, I could take this reason to blame. I'll take that one as an excuse. Ooh, this one is such a good cover up. I'm definitely using it. It's just a gaslighting tool. The most Gosh. professional gaslighting tool at that. Then we got the actual personality traits that astrology girls always like to bring up. So the whole point of astrology is it's supposed to predict how. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not Aries. So like, that's just how I, yo, that's the dumbest response fucking ever, bro. Fucking you, you, you talking to a, to a girl, bro. And you try to like ask a question and motherfucker says, oh, that's just the Aries in me. Motherfucker, that's just the fucking like, that's just the bro. astrology girls always like to bring up. So the whole point of astrology is it's supposed to predict how. Oh my God, I'm, I'm not Aries. So like, that's just how, I, yo, that's the dumbest response fucking ever, bro. Fucking you, you, you talking to a, to a girl, bro. And you try to like ask a question and motherfucker says, oh, that's just the Aries in me. Motherfucker, that's just the fucking like. That's just the stupidity in you, my nigga. That's the, that's the, that's straight, like, fucking, like, psychological, you know what I'm saying, mental illness, my nigga. I'm not going to catch you. In GTA, in GTA, in GTA. How you're going to act. And there's websites that tell you the character traits of every Zodiac sign. So these girls using their super scientific skills, which is just checking astrology websites that pop up first on Google, now know exactly how you will act in every situation for the rest of your life. Isn't that great? I mean, just get the astrology girls to predict what will happen for the rest of your life. But when you take an actual look at the personality traits of each sign, you start to realize that there are personality traits for other signs which aren't your sign which you can relate to. And let me give right. you one example. I did a little test and went on one of these websites to see my traits based on my zodiac sign. So my sign is Aquarius. And out of the six character traits they gave, they got one right about me. One. But, but what's going on? Let me, let me, let me, let me see real quick. Tag, tag, I want to check my zodiac sign chat, period, huh? Zodiac sign compatibility. Let me check my zodiac sign real quick. Zodiac sign. Her, hold on. Nigga, I'm not taking this fucking long ass test. There's 60 questions on here, nigga. Let me just find out my zodiac sign traits. Zodiac sign. Okay. Let me see something. All right. Fucking. Happy birthday. So I'm a Pisces for nobody who knows. I just, I just, you know what I'm saying? Happy birthday, Pisces. This is the 12th astrological sign. It's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, hold on. Um, As a child, you excel at knowing what others expect of you. Playing with one group of friends, you knew what they seek to fill the gap. You're acknowledged and admired. With a different set of friends. However, a new you emerges. This works fine, just fine until others ask you to define yourself. Upset that you should only pursue. What is this Shakespearean link? What are you talking about? You learn to blend and withdraw with skill. As you are always open to influence of others. You need regular, regularly scheduled alone time. This is when you recharge your batteries and you begin to understand your own true nature. As a child, you should have your own room. It is also preferable to take baths instead of showers. Bro. This is a lot. Nigga, no. No. Best love signs, Taurus. Yeah, I'm only fucking with Taurus women. But nigga, what are you talking about, bro? What is like, what is, uh, this, this is the shit that don't make sense, like, some of this shit is, like, I guess, I feel like some of this shit is so vague, Chad, like, I feel like any of this could apply to me, that's like saying, oh, if you were fucking, uh, if you're a fucking, uh, Aquarius, that means that you like your room, you like your room if you're an Aquarius, like, like fucking 80% of people don't like being in a fucking room, my nigga, yo, 
If you an Aquarius, bro, you like your room, bro. Yo, if you you if you a Cancer, bro, you love the internet, bro. You like you you fuck with the internet so heavy, bro. The internet's like one of the things that you. It's just so much fucking common shit that could be found in anybody, my nigga. Like that's 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 stupid. Okay. I, th I thought this, this was supposed to know how I'm about to act. I was damn near ready to go to one of these websites and see full on every single trait I have in Embody. And honestly, the trait they gave me is pushing it because it says actually believe in conspiracy theories. I believe in some and I don't believe in some, but I- He believes in all of them. He follows so Illuminati. Just gave it to them. And with every other sign I checked, there was about five other ones where I have the exact same character trait by the other sign that is not even my sign. So the whole point of zodiac signs determining who I am and who you are and how I'll act for the rest of my life and what my character traits are is the most inaccurate piece of dog shit ever. I honestly really want you all to do this test after watching this video as well. Because if you say you can't find a trait in another zodiac sign, you're lying. And what I noticed about these websites is that they're never exactly the same character traits throughout the whole board. On some websites, they'll say- Niggas literally said- you like having your own room? Like facts, like I'm not going to lie chat. Who likes having your own room? If you like having your own room, can I get a W in chat? If you don't like having your own room, can I get a L? If you like having your own room, can I get a W in chat? Okay, now everybody who said W, what's your sign? What's your sign? Now everybody who said W in chat, what's your sign? What's your sign? What's your sign? Cause that's a Pisces trait. So it's strictly a Pisces trait. You have to all be Pisces. If you like, if you want your own room, nigga said Aquarium. If y'all want your own room, bro, you have to, you have to be a Pisces, strictly Pisces. That's what it said. It, it, that you, that strictly Pisces. Like that is the most like stupidest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. Say one thing is this trait. Meanwhile, on another website, they'll say something else is supposed to be your trait. Like, like what is supposed to be my trait now? I'm confused now. You would think that since this is some magical science to these believers that determine how we're all going to live the rest of our lives, that it would straight up have a formula written out and everything would be the same. But from what it really looks like, they're just kind of making up things to throw in each category to make it more relatable to you. So since every person- And by the way, how does- Who comes up with this, this shit, by the way? How can somebody dictate- with the person, like, the Aristotle dictate the personalities? Like, who, who wrote it? Who, how do you know? Like, how do you know? Like, based on the star sign, how can you tell personality traits and link that to, like, like, how? Like, who wrote that shit? I want to know who's the ghostwriter for Zodiac signs. Who, like... What type of character traits written out on these websites for them? It turns into ammunition for these girls to use. They could just blame it on every single reason due to their sign other than their shitty behavior. And to put the nail in the coffin to prove traits are not even important and don't make any sense, NASA themselves have straight up came out and said astrology is not real and that it does yeah. not determine your personality. Oh, hey, you, you don't believe me? Go ahead and search up the multiple statements NASA has made That's saying right, astrology is not real. And you want me to believe you over NASA? Yeah, yeah, all right. Right. Oh, oh, okay. Another annoying thing is when these girls start to bring up compatibility into it. That's when you know you've reached the worst of the worst type. They think that Macros. just because a chart says that they're not compatible with the sign. That they what the fuck? Rat, ox, tiger, rabbit, dragon, snake, horse, sheep, rooster, dog. What the fuck? Yo. It's crazy because niggas will really be all into zodiac signs and be studying zodiac signs and be like 100% into zodiac signs, make that their whole personality, but they're failing fucking math, nigga. That's a very, very, that's a very odd twist of fate, my nigga. And yeah, and then fail science or fail some, like, niggas is so worried about the, the, the researching zodiacs and signs and shit like that, but you're not researching fucking basic life science, my nigga. Like, it's crazy how this shit works. The sign. That they can't remotely be near that person or they'll start disintegrating into the air. Sorry, we, we can't be friends. You're a zebra and I'm an aquarium. I, I just can't date you. I'm so sorry. You're a candy corn and I'm a uranium stick. Bro. Are you five years old? Imagine finding your dream person in the future. It doesn't matter who it could be. It could be anybody. They're absolutely stunning from head to toes, financially set in every way, share your core values and thoughts. Mm. Everyone Everyone around you loves them. Come on, Tommy. Chat, I would cry, nigga. Finally, it's finally if chat you find the one chat they really likes that. And then he say, What's your sign? I'm a fucking aquarium. Damn, that's gonna hurt, my nigga. Damn, that's gonna hurt. They make you look like the hurt. best person ever, only to not date them because the star alignments on the day they came out their mother's vagina didn't cooperate with your mother's? You, you really need to seek help if you believe this. And I looked at one of these compatibility boards, and let's just say, it's the most confusing piece of paper ever. Just look at this. How can you even determine what is going on here? This one looks like a bingo on. board. And nigga, is that, is that a di Tetris? Disco for? Why is there percents on this one? Then girls will wonder, oh, why, why don't men love astrology? Why don't they like it like us? Now, not all of y'all 
y'all maybe like these. And this th- is what I'm saying. Fabio Four, when he said, I'm an Aries, so I know he's hurting right now. Like, bro, you're 40, nigga, talking about Zodiac signs, bro. Like, type of girls. But a good amount of girls out there are definitely like this. And some of them are probably your friends, but you're not stopping them. You're letting them build up this crazy type of mentality. It's like watching an eight-year-old drive a car and not stopping them to see when they're gonna crash. You know what they're gonna end up leading into. Some of them will study this board and make sure to the T that they are compatible with someone. They could have two choices in dating. It could be Ryan Reynolds or EDP. And if EDP is more compatible with them, they will take him over Ryan Reynolds. Okay. Let's be honest, nobody's taking this motherfucker Brian to Moreland. Nobody's taking him. Nobody's taking him. Nobody's taking him. Let's keep it. Also, while I did more studying for this video, apparently there's some people that believe you can have two zodiac signs. It's called a cusp sign, which is the blend of two. Shut the fuck. Yo, yo, Tommy, please don't tell me these motherfuckers have double quirks. These motherfuckers got observation hockey and arm and man hockey, bro. They got they got two types of magic, bro. How the fuck you have two Zodiac signs? That's the yo. So I'm not gonna hold you brain dead. I'm not. I'm not even trying to hear this part. Two Zodiac signs? Just, I, I, I really can't understand. Are you? Are we just collecting two these stands, like Dragon like, Balls or Infinity on, Stones? Bro. What is going on now? It's like they come up with random terminology nowadays and just shove it down people's throats for them to believe. And you best believe these astrology hoes is gonna believe this. It kind of reminds me of when people were putting the word sexual in front of anything, like the word gay sexual, which is a girl who is attracted to gay boys. Or dream sexual. We're, we're not even going to talk about what dream sexual is. And my final statements at the end of this video is the following. F astrology. I don't think I could ever engage with someone who religiously follows it. Because I don't have time for that. Like, I live in the real world. It's honestly perfectly fine if you believe in it. Hell, who am I to tell you what to believe in? There's people that still believe the earth is fine in the 21st century. But if you go ahead and start blaming things on your sign and saying this and that was because of your sign, yeah, you are an immediate red flag and no one is going to ever want you. And the thing is, oh, it bro? really wouldn't be that right. bad if people didn't take it to the extreme like they do. Also, it's funny that some of these people put blood, sweat, and tears into studying things like the zodiac signs, the charts the elements all of that but end up failing their science and math classes like bro put that energy into the right, right place right, what are you doing saying. anyways y'all know saying. what to do follow my instagram twitter and tiktok as always i love you guys consensually and until next time i'm out okay 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 nah that that's really what it is chat i'm telling you biggest red flag ever you like don't please do not ignore that bro if somebody Talking to a girl, bro. I don't care how cute she is, and she's talking about some her zodiac sign, bro. And she's talking about some. Oh yeah, my last dude was a fucking Pisces, and then like, damn, I can't even fuck with you. You use a fucking dirty ass Aries. I can't do that. Yo, walk away, bro. Cause just walk, 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 walk very fast. In fact, start running. Don't go fucking four hundred dash, nigga. Just run. Don't look back, my nigga. I guarantee if you engage, bro. The zodiac sign gonna be the least of your worries, my nigga. Like you can tell, you can zodiac signs like telltale signs about who's crazy and who's not crazy. I'm not gonna go after you. I'm not gonna catch you.